This is a follow-up to the video that I just posted um, that says um, game shows or TV shows. So I think I'm going to put me down with allergies. The amount of stuff is being sprayed on me. It's like right now this pain right here all around me. But it's okay. Um, I was thinking of this this whole thing where people are watching, they say. People are watching and people are seeing it in your head. She's describing what's happening. She's doing this. She's describing what's happening or whatever. Um, or whoever is, you know, is, is seeing through your eyes, whatever this neural monitoring or, or whatever the case might be. Now, when a person isn't doing much, they're not doing much. And if they've gotten used to whoever is doing this, have gotten used to making a lot of money by it. Because remember, they probably have one person behind the person's eyes. If this is true, I don't know. I don't know how this can be done. Without a psychic energy, I don't see it. But I saw that cat, and if, if, if well, the, the cat's its head was in the vice, and it was showing you what it was seeing in front of it, and you were seeing the same thing, and you could see it was a bit cloudy. It was a bit cloudy. The image wasn't quite clear, but the shapes were there. Because the, lady, the mo woman moved back and forth, the person who was conducting it and explaining what it was. She moved back and forth in front of the cat and in front of the camera. Because half of the screen was the camera, half of the screen was the cat's eyes, what the cat was seeing. And you saw the image clearly. So that could be a possibility. So this is where the, all the spritzing and spraying probably tries to come into play. Or where they're fooling people with it. Because a lot of people will pretend, they will pretend, let's pretend that, yes, it's some kind of game show somewhere, some kind of TV show, some kind of something where this is how they're making the money. Now, let's just say there are people out there who are actually doing this. What's going to happen when the person isn't doing anything abnormal or crazy or out of the way or fun? That's where the spritzing and the spraying comes in. That's where the illegal drugging of them comes in. To get them to act belligerent. To get them to talk to themselves. To get them to act weird. To get them to... I mean, where does it stop? With their death? Because I believe it's almost like a disease with some of these people, if, if, if this is true. It'll become almost like an obsession, a disease where they feel they own us. That they have the right to do this to us anytime, anywhere we are. They will feel we are their meal ticket, in other words. They invested so much money without our knowledge and fucked up something in our lives. You know, we ingested something or something. And now they feel like we're their property. They can buy and sell us to people. Because we're money makers. If, you know, if this is true. I, I don't know, and I think that's where the spritzing and the spraying comes in. This is where all the gang stalking comes in and they look, because they want us to, 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 to act uh, paranoid, scared. Think, well, we see something out there. You know what? This is, we're trying to figure out. And there, there have people who are laughing at this. I, I'm thinking in my case, no. Because I know stuff that's potentially worth a lot of money is missing. I know that. It is missing. But, but I also believe the people who are doing this to me, in my case, I, they're so cunning. They're cunning. They're cunning as shit. And they would hide under the umbrella because they see how wide this is. The possibilities are endless. And people come up, like me, come up with a lot of different ways and means of how they could be, you know, what this could possibly be or what it could possibly mean. So it, let's just say this, this thing with the TV show is probably real. Then people are doing it illegally too. Because if it's on TV, an actual TV show, that would have to be legal in some way. But the person has to agree to it. And they would have to probably know what are the risks are. But in, in this case, in, the, in this country, the whole concept of this, I don't think it would be legal. So anytime this is happening, it's illegal. 
It's considered illegal and they will go to jail. The thing is, what's happening, what's happening here is like, I'm just looking. This is why, this is, this will make sense. This is why all the spritzing and spraying. Though in my case, I believe that they want to kill me. Because even if you're making money off of me and you're seeing this poor woman getting sicker, and let's just say there's an audience and they're, they're seeing me getting sicker, at least two or three people within that audience will report this to the cops. This is not fun anymore. This would not be fun to them anymore. Somebody would report it to the cops. This, this looks, this is bad now. They're clearly taking advantage now. And think of if somebody sees them. If somebody does that, what do you think they will do to that person? If they know that somebody reported it, if somebody saw something and they reported it, that's what I'm saying. They will try to kill us. Because they know they go to jail, they're not coming back out, and that's what they're afraid of. This is human trafficking. This is exploitation of a human being. The sentence they would get for this is not going to be easy. They're not going to come back out from jail. So, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, what, what, what place them between a rock and a hard place. If somebody does report it, somebody say, well, this, 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 this has gone too far. This has gone too far. Somebody does report it. What are they going to do when they feel cornered? They will try to kill the person and try to kill the evidence. After all, like I said, a dead woman can't defend herself and a dead woman tell no tales. I will not be there to accuse them either. So, because if they have this enough cunning to exploit people to this extent to begin with, to save, their, to save themselves out of jail, they would try to kill them. Yes, I, I do believe that. Because it, it takes a lot of cruelty in, within their soul and their minds to begin with for them to do this to someone. After seeing the person clearly in distress, clearly in distress, and seeing them getting sicker, not stopping. I think the ultimate goal at this point is to kill. I feel very, very vehemently strong about that. I don't know what your particular situation is. But the same, same set, the same things is like, there's something to be said for it. Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe that's what they're doing. I don't just don't know how they're doing it and what damages it's causing to us. I don't know. Like I said, though, I mean, think about it. You're doing this, making money off of it. Eventually, people want more weird, more bizarre, more uh, obnoxious behavior. Now, what are they going to do? They will start spritzing and spraying and drugging us. They will start that to turn us into drug addicts, to make us angry, to make us moody. And all the while, the, the, the one thing nobody talks about is damaging our bodies. This is illegal, highly, highly, highly illegal. Somebody needs to help us. If I go to explain this to a law enforcement, imagine it, if you will. I'm in front of a police officer and I'm trying to explain this. The whole concept of this, he will just dismiss it and think I'm crazy. And that's what they want. Imagine me telling this to a police officer. He, they will say this woman is crazy. She, maybe she is using drugs. Maybe she has a mental disability. But it's happening to more than one people, and that's the only security I have right now, is that there are others out there who are experiencing this. If I was unique and alone, even I would say, whoa, this, you know, but other people are experiencing it. So take heart. Take heart. The day will come when we will need each other. A day will come when we will need each other. To so bring an end to this.